a big mess. And my, my teacher would say, Stephen needs to practice his penmanship, and he should teach that. As I mentioned earlier, my grandfather had beautiful handwriting. And so I learned to handwrite by copying what he did. I'd get him to write a line, and then right under it, I'd try to do the letters. His letters looked just like the ones they put around the top of the ceiling in my first and second grade classes. By the third grade, they expect us to know how to pattern those letters. And so I developed a better handwriting by underwriting the handwriting of my grandfather. I was copying what he did. And that's what it is here. We take the life of Christ, we look to him, and under his life, we copy through our actions, our words, our behavior, we copy his life. He left us an example, a, a copy that we are to copy. We're to, it's a pattern we're to follow. He's the model. And we follow in his steps. A different word here in our text, 1 Timothy 4 verse 12, here the word example looks like our English word type. It's tupos, P-U-P-O-S, if you spelled it out in English with, with transliteration, just replace the letters. But we get our English word type, and a type is a kind. It is, um, it is a sample, and, and we are to be an example. There's an archaic word called ensample, and elders are to be ensamples to the flock. As the King James Version says, newer translations say, examples to the flock. But it is a type. And every Christian, we may not be perfect like Christ. I don't see that happening. He's always the goal we're striving for. So he's the perfect model. But we can all be little Christs. We can be types of Christ. We can be examples of Christ. And that's what he's saying here. How do we do it? Well, we have to watch our speech, our conduct, our love, our spirit, our faith. And all of this is to be done in purity. Very good lesson that all Christians need to have. It may be that you're a Christian here today and you need to be closer to the Lord than you are. Maybe you've been away from Him and you want to be what you ought to be, an example of the believers. If it's not public, you can correct that between you and the Lord. But if you have not been an example of Christian in your words, in your speech, your conduct, your love, your faith and your purity, and it shows in your life, then you need to make a public correction. And Christians don't have to be baptized again. Christians need to repent of their sins and pray, and the Lord will forgive. We sing a song of invitation, and that song of invitation encourages all of us to think on these things as together we stand.